The proteins are the third group of biochemical molecules or food groups that we eat. There are many different types of protein molecules made in the body and proteins are involved in virtually all cell functions. Following are a few examples that will be important for you to know for this course. There are six main groups of molecules that are categorized as lipids and they are the neutral fats, phospholipids, steroids, waxes, soaps, and oils. For the purpose of this course though, we are only concerned with the first three, the neutral fats, the phospholipids, and the steroids. Let's start with the neutral fats. Neutral fats function as a long-term energy source. Again, long-term energy source is the key. What I tell students for the purpose of this course, and this is a little bit of a cheat here, but in order to identify a neutral fat, I tell students to look for a molecule that is the shape of the capital letter E, and it can be forward or it can be turned backward. You will have to know what the building blocks of neutral fats are. So one, I need to know its function, and two, I need to know its building blocks. The backbone of neutral fats is made of a glycerol molecule, which looks like this. And the three rungs that make up the neutral fat are three fatty acids, which look something like this. There are many different types of fatty acids, and although the formula is very somewhat, they all look very similar. We need to spend a little bit of time here studying the fatty acids, because there are some test questions that you will have to be able to answer in regard to the fatty acids. Fatty acids are simply long chains of carbon and hydrogen atoms bonded together that will end with a carboxylic acid ending. A carboxylic acid ending looks like this. As it takes a long time to write out all of the carbon and hydrogen atoms in a fatty acid, scientists short form it like this. A carbon and hydrogen with the subscript 3 to the hydrogen indicating that there are 3 hydrogen bonded to this one carbon. Then we put a carbon and a hydrogen with a subscript 2 to it in brackets and count the number of carbons with two hydrogen attached to them in the molecule. We put that number as a subscript to the bracket to indicate the total number of carbon bonded with two hydrogen. Finally, we will write the carboxylic acid ending, which is one carbon and two oxygen in a row, followed by one hydrogen atom. Now we have a chemical formula for fatty acid. But what kind of fatty acid? There are two types of fatty acids that you will need to know. When we've looked at food labels, you may have seen this terminology, saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids. You need to be able to look at a formula for fatty acids and identify if it is saturated or unsaturated. A saturated fatty acid is a fatty acid that has as many hydrogen attached to it as possible. So there are only single bonds between the carbon atoms. An unsaturated fatty acid is not holding all of the hydrogen that it can. So it does have double bonds between the carbon atoms. There can be any number of double bonds between the carbon atoms of an unsaturated fatty acid. Which of the following molecules are saturated and unsaturated?